for setup, if you've already bought a machine, just make sure that when, you, when the machine arrives and you take it out of the box, it's no more than 10 or 15 minutes to set these up. The bolts are already on the machine. You're not given a bag of bolts. You take them off, put the piece on, put the bolts back on with the handy tools provided. Just make sure that the leveling feet on both machines are at the same height and the machine doesn't move at all when it's on the ground. The Pro Plus 2 has very large suction cups and you don't have to worry that your neighbors downstairs in the condominium below you uh, or that the boats are going to pop, the rivets are going to pop out of your boat because the only thing that moves is the plate, not the machine itself. Periodically, and that might be perhaps once every three months or so, you might want to just tighten the side bolts if you feel that they're coming loose at all or you might want to check the feet and see that they're nice and stable. On the Pro Plus 2, when you set it up, just please adjust the hand straps so that when you stand, your forearm is parallel with the ground, not too low and not too high. Plug the machine into any standard household outlet and you're ready to go. I always suggest you play music in the background. My machine, in this setup, my TV would be this way because I'll oftentimes sit on the machine. So I have it set up this way. You may choose to set up a different way if you like, but I do encourage you to sit on the machine because it's very relaxing and there's a variety of exercises that you can do for that. As far as the surface that you put it on, it could be on a wood surface, cement, tile. We're here at this lovely home on a brick patio. Just make sure the machine is level. If you put it on heavy carpet, you may need to put a three quarter inch piece of marine plywood underneath the machine so that the carpeting doesn't get stuffed under the machine. Where to place your machine? This is very important. This machine is not to be put in your basement next to the laundry machines, next to the treadmill that you're hanging your clothes from because you don't use it. Put it in what I call the epicenter of your house, if at all possible. The epicenter is the place where you pass by all the time when you're in your house. It might be in a family room. It could be in a connecting hallway. Somewhere so that when you walk in the door, you see your machine. When you leave for the day, you see your machine. When you come down the stairs, you see your machine. If you see it, you will use it. And that would be the only way not to get results on these machines is if you don't use it. 